So today, I am going to be doing a little bit of experimenting with my DCC Concepts meter. Uh, I bought this a little while ago and I have yet, it's just been sitting on the, the ledge of my layout. I haven't even installed it or played with it yet. But today, I'm going to just do a little bit of experimenting, uh, see different ways I can hook it up and uh, hopefully I don't destroy it in the process. I don't pretend to know anything about electronics. I do not. I'm kind of winging it as I go. Uh, so far I haven't blown anything up or caused any fires. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna attach some short wires, foot long wires on each side, uh, just to kind of uh, give me some leads to work with. Now the plug can only go in one way. Um, put it in like this, you know, just kind of struggle to get it on there. Put it like that, goes right in. Now, here's your positive side, here's your negative side. So, the red wire being positive, I'm gonna drop that into this hole and tighten it up. Just a little snug, not super tight. Put my black wire into the negative side and we'll tighten it up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just for my own uh, obsession with uh, neatness, I'm gonna just put this little heat shrink on the end of there to keep those wires from splitting any further. Okay, for the other end of the wire, I think what I'll do is I'll put another piece of heat shrink there, just so that that doesn't split any further. And then I will uh, strip that and tin it and just leave the wires bare. For now, I think that'd be sufficient for testing. Okay. Okay, there's my test wire. This is for the input side. Make another one for the output side. Uh, identical. Don't do that off camera. Okay, I'm all ready to test. Uh, so just for the purpose of testing, I've gone ahead and attached some alligator clips to each end. For my test, I'm gonna use an old style uh, train power pack. Uh, this is just going to be DC uh, for uh, accessory AC and track DC. Uh, of course, the DC is going to be a variable amount that I can adjust. The AC is a fixed amount. Um, to draw the amps, I've got the this this light. In or in order to have amp readage, you need to have something drawing from it. So let's turn on the power. I'm going to crank it up really slow. Okay. I can see the light blinking red. It blinked and then it went to a solid red. I, of course, I'm talking about this little light right here. But none of the readouts came on. I can see a very tiny glow right here. Just thinking about it. So until you get at least 2.5 volts, it doesn't seem to want to really function. So I'm up to three volt, uh, three volts DC. That is actually the minimum power that I'm ever going to generate on my layout. My, I've got a three volt bus, and you can see this lamp right now is drawing 0.4 amps. My next bus size up is 12 volts. So it maxes out at 9.1 volts. I'm noticing that actually on the um, readout itself, I can see it quite clearly. When I'm looking at it through my phone, it's just jumping all over the place. 
When I reverse direction, D indicator that it doesn't power up at all. I'm not going to be reversing polarity on my layout. So that's not something I'm going to have to worry about. At this point, I'm going to switch it over to AC. Um, note right now, um, this light is green. That is, the green is indicating that you're running DC power through it. Uh, let me turn it off. Let's switch it over to AC. And we'll power it back on. Now see the indicator light up here turned red. That is indicating uh, that you are running AC power. Um, I believe that it turns blue when you're measuring DCC power, which I'm not going to be able to do right here at the moment. Um, but what I'm getting on my display is 12.11 is volts um, and 0 0.8 amps. Uh, and on my, my phone screen, I'm just seeing it jump all over the place. Uh, but it's very steady from what I can see on here. Take this light off and suddenly voltage jumped up to 18.9 volts and the amps dropped completely to zero. Well, I ran into a little trouble and the problem is on my end. The problem is that I didn't read the directions before I hooked this up. Uh, right here, it says, DC volts and amps. High accuracy range is from 5 to 29 volts. Um, I am hooking it up right now to my 3 volt bus. Um, that's enough to light the indicator light, but it's not enough to power the display itself. Um, it's going to run fine on my 12 volt bus. So I will be able to use this for DCC and for my 12 volt DC bus, but I will not be able to use it for my three volt bus. I ordered another one of these meters, alpha meters from DC Concepts. I will use that for my DCC, uh, but for now, uh, I am gonna I am gonna wire this in and dedicate it to my 12 volt bus. Since all the space on my control panel is pretty much used up or spoken for, I had no place to put my DCC Concepts meter, um, so I made this little bump out, and I'm gonna mount it right here. They give you this drilling guide, which unfortunately is right on the back of your owner's manual. Um, so you're going to want to take a picture of the manual portion of it. Um, better yet, if you have access to a copy machine, go ahead and make a copy of the drilling guide. Here's a little tip. Instead of using the template that they give you, which also has your manual on it, you can go to dccconcepts.com forward slash alpha dash meter dash template. And then you can download this PDF and then print it out. These are the screws that I like to use for my fascia panel. Uh, they were a little bit big for my to receive into the holes here. So I drilled them out. I don't advise that, but if you want to, it's just use, I am uh, I am just using an 11 64th uh, drill bit for wood and it just cut really simply. It's, uh, it's just an aluminum front on that. I'll use a little bit smaller drill bit to drill out the pilot holes for the, for mounting it because these are tapping screws. So I can't put a nut on the other end. So what I'm drilling now are the screw holes. Um, there's two sets of holes they want you to drill. The outside is your screw hole. The inside, you're gonna use a little bit larger drill bit um, because you're gonna wanna get a 
saw in there to cut this out. So I'm gonna start by drilling the pilot holes for the screws. Okay, I don't have the, the jigsaw blade the size of what they're intending here. So I am gonna have to use a three eighths inch drill bit. Okay, time to dr to cut this out with the jigsaw. Okay, so now we have our hole cut out. We can drop this in. So here's the underside of the panel. I'm going to experiment a little bit to see how I need to hook it up. I'll do that off camera and then when I figure it out, I'll come back and I'll guide you through the wiring. Okay, right there you got my your 12 volt bus. It is, uh, this is the plug that's attached to it. My positive wire is the green wire that green wire comes out and runs to the back of my switch. And the other end, I tapped in the alligator clip to the positive on the input side by my voltmeter. So, and then it comes out, this is the output. So that red wire then and connects to the terminal on my analog voltmeter. Um, that would be the input of it. Um, on my negative wire, uh, it transforms into my black alligator clip. And I'll trace that up, goes to the negative side of the input on the voltmeter and then comes out of the output on that voltmeter which actually is tapped right into my bus this is the wire that feeds my bus that's not an actual tap that is actually powering my bus in a nutshell that's the basic circuit i'm gonna go ahead and uh wire that up uh, solder it in place and get rid of the alligator clips and uh, when I come back, I will actually show you how it's reading. Here's what I accomplished today to power it on. I just flip this switch. And now what I see, I don't know if you could see it in the video. I see 12.4 volts and I see 0 0.1 amp. I'm not using much amp average at all. Um, so I've also got my, I still have my analog 12 volt gauge. Um, you see that it's uh, measuring about the same, if you can see that. So let's see what happens on the DCC Concepts alpha meter when I flip one of these tortoise switches. The Amperage went from 0 0.11 to 0 0.12 when I flipped one. I flipped another one, and the amperage seems to stay at around 0 0.12. Uh, voltage stays roughly the same. Um, flip them both into the off position, into the neutral position. It seems to go back down to 0 0.11 so um, it it appears to be hooked up and and correctly measuring amperage uh, amperage is what I really wanted this uh, 
DCC Concepts uh, Alpha Meter 4, since uh, I'm already measuring bolts up there in an analog fashion. Um, but yeah, I like this. So I went ahead and I ordered another one of these. Um, and when it arrives, I will put it right here and uh, I'll start measuring my DCC. That's what these are really intended for. This, this is made specifically for the model railroading industry. And uh, I love it. I, I wish I had hooked it up sooner. Um, but I have it now. Uh, I'm going to get one more. Probably going to end up getting more uh, eventually. Um, but, uh, okay. Uh, we are done with this video.